it's coming back holiday weekend and I've just started the Great British Escapades which is a ultra bikepacking event self-supported for 480 kilometers uh, off-road so across the north and south downs way uh, loop back round to starting in Kent finishing Kent near Canterbury uh, started at it's five in the afternoon which is a bit of a strange start and I'm not sure I'm not sure my mind is quite prepared <laughs> for starting in the afternoon but uh, lucky the sun's out glorious weather and probably means I'm gonna have to end up cycling through the night a bit Coming up to four and a half hours in, I've done about 75k. Sun's starting to set now, which is kind of weird because it feels like now I've been riding all day and I haven't. <laughs> Plan is to try and ride into the night sometime between 12 and 2, depending on how I'm feeling. I might try and find somewhere to bivy for, I don't know, two to four hours, we'll see. Um, I realise you can't see me, but it's just ticked over midnight, so I thought I'd give an update. So seven hours in now, just done, oh, I've done about 107 kilometers, which is, is decent progress. Probably be looking for somewhere to kip in the next couple of hours. Um, feeling all right, it's just really taking it out of me. Constant amount of concentration you have to do when cycling off road in the dark. Um, yeah, it's tough. Day one done. I think I racked up about 135k in the end. It's currently 2 a.m. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna try and get three or four hours sleep and set off tomorrow for what probably will be the biggest stint. All right. Good morning, it's 6 a.m. Yeah, this is where I slept for the night. I had a bit of a bit of a problem with my roll mat and it wouldn't keep any air in it. So I was like blowing it up for five minutes before I realised the ground wasn't nice to me really. But oh well, got, got my three hours sleep in and uh, yeah, big day ahead. It's a nice day, blue skies. First point of interest will be checkpoint one, which comes in at I think 165k. And it's around Box Hill, so it's in another 30k. Bit of hiker bike here, but I'm finally on paths I recognise. So, made it to Box Hill. So, the checkpoint must be just around the corner. Wow, it's a steep climb. Checkpoint one. Hello. Right, so first checkpoint done. It's currently 20 past eight. Very handy, was able to fill up all the water, which I was completely out of. I've got food, got snacks, got water. Should be able to get a few hours stint in now. Finally heading south, which means I think I'm off the North Downs Way. Heading towards the South Downs Way. Probably just coming up to lunchtime, so hopefully I'll find a stop soon. Grab some more food. It's been a lot of climbing. All right, I'm stopping for lunch. Just popped into the MS to grab a sandwich and bananas and more water. Done about 80k today, so it's about 50 from the checkpoint, which means still 110 to the next checkpoint if I'm going to make it to that today. But yeah, it's going well. It's, it's a lot slower today. It's a bit more, a bit more rocky in places. This is getting tough. <laughs> nearly onto the South Downs way, still still going south. Walked up this big hill. I can feel the rain coming. There we go, South Downs way. Does that mean it's the final stretch? I guess, but it's a pretty long final stretch. Got some podcasts in, just need to get me through. It's 
a super steep climb after climb. God, this is tough and the downhills are just as steep which doesn't give you much relief. And what's going to make it worse is that there's rain forecast, I can already feel some drips. And I've got a headwind the whole way back. Yeah, it's only going to get tougher. Stops at the water tap at Washington. Um, it started raining a lot earlier than I was expecting. Uh, I thought it wouldn't start raining until kind of 12 1, but oh well, at least it's not too heavy at the moment. Well, this is the classic bikepackers uh, shop, sat in front of a petrol station. <laughs> Managed to get a subway from next door just in time before they closed. So that's dinner done. Picked up some Lucas Sport and other snacks from the petrol station which should be able to see me through kind of another well through as much of the night as I want to ride now um, I think I have snacks to last me until tomorrow morning so yeah in decent shape apart from the fact I feel shattered <laughs> hi guys uh, so I just need to come through I noticed you have a couple of calves there they don't want you to think that I'm any danger to them uh, so if I can just squeeze through, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die check out. Okay, I don't think they're that bothered about me. Phew! I'll give a quick update. It's currently 8:30, and it's just constant rolling along the ridge of the South Downs. And, uh, spectacular views. And thankfully it stopped drizzling, which has helped a lot. Unfortunately, there were some really slow bits and um, must have done about single, probably single figure kilometers in, uh, in about an hour. But since then it has picked up a bit. So yeah, just trying to push on now, uh, get as much done as I can before it starts raining. I know it's coming, it's just when and where I am. So I'm currently in Alfriston, which is home to checkpoint number two and signifies two thirds of the route being done. So yeah, one third of the route to go. Um, it's been pretty slow kind of through the dark um, and the terrain's been tough, but, but yeah, we're getting there. I think I'm just going to keep riding on and see how the weather plays out. Yeah, it's pretty chilly, so I kind of just want to keep moving. Gosh, it looks like I'm telling a scary ghost story, but uh, I've just found somewhere to settle down for the second night. I thought it's, it's actually half three. I thought maybe I could go the full night, but my mind just started playing tricks on me with the uh, sleep deprivation. I was making figures out of every th every kind of shape and object. Yeah, finding it hard to stay focused on, on the road and on the tracks. So I thought it'd better, better just try and get a couple of hours in. Yeah, hopefully I'll feel better in the morning. It's six o'clock, so I managed to get another three hours sleep, or just under. Um, but yeah, still <laughs> very sleep deprived in total, but feeling much better than the state I was in last night. So yeah, I think there's maybe 110k left to to do today. So just going to try and push on with that and see. Yeah, see if I can get to the finish by maybe mid up afternoon. I guess I made good progress last night. I ended up on a section of old rail track which they've uh, tarmacked over and converted into kind of like a cycle path so that was pretty speedy for quite a while um, yeah I don't know what the train's like today I've still seen there's quite a bit of climbing left so we'll have to see how fast it is so just got the bike out thought I was ready to set off in the morning and the back tire is just completely flat which is very frustrating because it's tubeless Oh, frustrating, I'm just packed everything away. <laughs> so not ideal, some much heavier rain has come. Currently shattering under a tree. Um, update on the uh, puncture situation, or flat tyre situation. Um, I, I can't unscrew the tubeless valve to put a tube in that I've got. I don't have any pliers, I think I'd need pliers to get it open. I've pumped it up a bit again. Um, and maybe I might just have to keep doing that until I can get to a, I don't know, some houses where people might be awake or a farm or um, 
maybe even a garage, but I think that's unlikely. Oh well. So I didn't make it very far. <laughs> Down at the bottom of the hill is where I stopped for the night and uh, I've unfortunately had to scratch. As, um, I didn't realise, well I, I knew I had some issues with my backside but I didn't realise how bad it was until I got on the saddle and started cycling. I, it's extremely painful just to even sit down um, and I, I don't feel like doing 100 kilometres out the saddle. It's really guided because it was going really well. Oh well, it wasn't to be this time. I'm going to have to sort out this problem because I had the same problem with Dale's device um, which I did earlier this year. So yeah, I think it sounds like I need a bike fit. <laughs> Because if it's a recurring problem, there must be something causing it. Time to uh, get to the nearest station and train back to London.